Howdy folks, little John, once again we're in the kitchen, so that means uh, we're brewing another kit beer. Uh, today, beer of choice is this fella, Mutton's Handcrafted American, American Style IPA. Uh, haven't used one of these kits before, these are... Um, they're only fairly new um, into Australia to come out there out of England. Obviously, muttons are a um, British uh, brand. They're, like, they're pretty much like the pommy version of Coopers. Uh, and this is the kits. These are kits that have just come out, so these are a little bit um, more developed than your standard cam brew. Um, but what's driven me to doing this fella is. Uh, Someone had a post on um, one of the Facebook pages uh, recently uh, where they brewed this kit and were commenting that the um, the beer was very much like a um, Ben Spoke Brewing's Crankshaft, uh, which is a very um, very good beer and very well uh, very well known and very well respected. Uh, <coughs> And I sort of commented that I um, found it a little bit hard to believe that a straight up kit beer uh, was going to make a beer of that sort of quality. Um, Phil was fairly who it wasn't, I can't think who it was at the moment, um, so I don't want to um, give a wrong name. Uh, but he said, um, yeah, he was very happy with the brew. Um, and since so I went and actually, so I decided, I said, okay, we're going to get one, I'll try it and see how we go. Um, I've had a few people since then, I've had this sitting around for a couple of weeks now, who have commented that they've used these muttons kits, there's a few different variations, um, and had good results with them. So, here we are, we're giving it a go. Now, we'll just have a quick look at what is in these kits. As I said, they're a little bit um, more involved than just a basic can kit. Now they are can based. It says on the back here uh, American style in Europe pale ale, 40, 40 pint home brew kit. Ingredients hop malt extract, hops, and dried brewing yeast. Now I have opened it before, but I've just left it for Pop him open. And what we get on the top here uh, is a small pack, six grams of American ale yeast. Um, that straight away is, to me is a really dodgy sign that you know, they want you to do a, <laughs> tell you to do an American IPA, yet they still want to give you six grams of yeast. But what I'm doing today, that's going to be okay, it's going to work. We've got a packet of Summit Hot Pellets, 30 grams thereof. Uh, it's in a foil pack. So again, who knows what's, yeah, what sort of quality that's really going to be in. It's been sitting in the box, uh, not cooled or anything. Got a little instruction book here. And in the box are two nondescript tins of malt extract. Uh, there's a best before date of January 2021. On both of them, a couple of uh, numbers which are all the same, and that's it. Uh, everything seems to be the same. They, they, so, as far as I can tell, those two cans are exactly the same thing. Um, so, whether it's just a straight up kit, um, split over two cans, or I thought it might have been a base can and then a can of extract, unhopped extract to go with it. Um, I'm not sure. So until I get these open, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to quickly just get those in the sink into some hot water. I 
coming out. Probably should have got this done earlier. But yeah, I wanted to go through and do the whole do the whole box thing. No, that's going to make a bit of noise. It's right on the center there. Okay. Looks like at this part of the uh, brew, we had a bit of a uh, technical stuff up. Uh, I don't know who's to blame, whether it be the director, the cameraman, or the... Uh, yeah, actually, it's really only my fault. Um, it would appear I didn't turn the, um, well, turn the camera on, but didn't actually start recording at this point. Um, so, <laughs> I, got, I got editing and, and, and worked this out. It was a big chunk of a uh, pretty important part of what was going on with this brew. So, uh, just going to recap. Um, yeah, so, the focus of this brew was to, A, to be able to compare this kit to this idea that you can make a crank, crankshaft with it. Um, and the other half was uh, the idea of playing around with some hops um, working towards a profile of the bent spoke sprocket. Uh, I don't expect to hit a sprocket, I'm not going to get any, I'm not going to get the AVV and I don't think I've got the, um, really going to have the malt needed for that. But anyway, so what the plan is If I'm going to get, I'm going to, I'm going to run some hops on this custom later, which I'm going to do a bit of a whirlpool, and I'm going to dry hop half. So I'm going to make the batch up as per the kit instructions to 21 litres, and then I'll take 12 litres of that and put into a single fermenter, which I'll pitch the packet yeast that came with the kit onto, and brew that as it is as per the instructions with the dry hopping of the summit that comes with the kit. Um, the other half, I'm going to add, I've got three litres of water on, on the stove. In that three litres, I put half a kilo of dry malt and, oh God, I think it was 200 grams of dex. <laughs> Let me check here. Yes, 200 grams of dextrose. And I'll boil that, and I'm letting it cool now, and it's come down, it's really come down to 80 degrees, so around whirlpool temp. And then I'm going to put in a mix of hops in that, so do a whirlpool. Uh, and again, this explains a little bit, just a little bit further down. And then I'll add that three litres to the nine litres that's left of that, um, of that original mix which I'll put into a second fermenter as well, and can top it up. And then run that with the dry hop along the lines of the sprocket. And I'll use USO5 on that. So I'm going to run this brew two ways. And see how it comes out. Um, and see how they compare. So let it go now. We'll return to where we... Um, <laughs> back to the brew day uh, and see how it turns out. Okay, something weird happened with the camera. I don't know what, I don't know if we've, we've lost anything. But, what I'm saying is the sprocket, the, the hops are listed Fortnite Emerillo Mosaic. From tasting, I'm very confident there's mosaic and Amarillo in the dry hop. I'm thinking that the Fortnite is probably used as a flame out and or, or maybe even only as a um, whirlpool type of type hop. Uh, as I said, I don't have any Fortnite. So, going through, going through the uh, yeast stocks, yeast, the hop stocks, and worked out what I can sort of do to play around. And what I've come up with, um, I've got some Citra, Cascade, Simcoe, and some Columbus. Uh, and I'm going to put three grams of each of those, which is way down here. 
into this malt uh, and let it sit for about 15 minutes in that sort of in that whirlpool sort of a temperature range. Um, and then and then add this to the nine litres in the in the second fermenter. And then go on with that and pitch just a pack of USA five into that just to um, make sure it's got a good amount of yeast and it's gonna have a high gravity as well. Seventy. I'll just bring that heat back up just a little bit. Put it back up about eighty for this whirlpool edition. So, as I said, so this is I'm going to, I'm going to whirlpool this. I've got a hot bag which I've had soaking in the while it was boiling, so it's it's sanitised. Um, I'll sit it for fifteen minutes, and then I'm going to pull the hot bag out. I won't be adding those hops into the fermenter. I want to, I want to finish that because if that wasn't part of the whirlpool, whirlpool process, those hops would drop out um, during the cooling process of the transferring the wort from the kettle into the fermenter. So I don't want to leave them in the actual fermenter to impart any extra bitterness or anything like that. So while this is just going to come coming back up, I'm going to go and grab my big fermenter, which I'm going to mix everything up in, uh, and we'll get that going together. Okay, so I've got my big fermenter ready. So we'll run that first. Get our tins and get these, get them open. See what this looks like. Yeah. It's gonna really need to be hopped if it's. Yeah, there's a bit of bitterness in there. So I'll get these in. As I said, yeah, I was a bit surprised at how these tins work. I thought it might have just been a basic extract, a hopped extract with a um, just a straight to extract to go with it, but no, it's obviously two tins of straight up concentrated wort. Um, so that's the, obviously the way they're doing it. Um, they do say they've created a whole new process for making these these kits. Um, on the proviso, they're making. Um, be making easier for uh, us punters at home. So, if this is, this is obviously how they've decided to do it. Uh, so, this makes me even, even, even more skeptical of our uh, claims that uh, someone's making a, an acceptable crankshaft clone from the straight up kit without doing anything to it. But hey, there we are. So boiling water in. I'll get some water in. And that's it, so I'll mix this up. Uh, and I'll add cold water and top him up, like I said, to 21 litres. And then we'll, uh, I'll split that over our other two fermenters. So we don't want to watch that. I'll get that done and come back when I'll split it. Uh, and we'll finish off. I've got my hops in here. 
Let them sit now for set for 15 minutes. So while I get this all the old happening, get these two fermenters split. That that should probably give me about 15 minutes, which should be just perfect for that to go into the uh, second fermenter and have it ready. Okay, so I split both of these batches. We're a bit over 12 litres here in this which is just the standard batch. Uh, with nothing added to it, as per the instructions. Just going to take a quick gravity and pull off that. And it's looking sort of the colour we'd sort of be expecting for an IPA. Pretty much dead on 1050. A few bubbles there on top, but yeah, maybe 1052. Let's give it a second. But I've got the hops weighed out from the summit. Now I've decided I'm going to go 10 in now and keep 20 for the um, for the dry hop. So 10 gram in there. I think we're looking 1052. Yeah, 1052 on that. So that 5.5% gravity is probably spot on or pretty close to the mark. Okay. So the hydro out. Okay, there's a bit of bitterness there, not a bloody massive amount, so uh, again I think they've like they obviously they are focusing on the dry hop to get the big hop profile. So that's no problem. Now and again I don't this is against what I recommend. Six grams of American ale yeast sprinkled on top. Um, I would afford the USA 5. Um, now, honestly, looking at that from my experience, I'm thinking it's more of BRY 97. It's definitely not USA 5, it's too dark. Uh, well, it could be Mutton's own ale yeast, but I'm pretty confident that's not USA 5. We'll see shortly when I pitch this one. So, on to our second batch, which is going to be our attempt at a sprocket. So, as I said, hops have been uh, steeping here for 15 minutes. It's now more like 7 or 18, but that's not a bloody big problem. Okay. And we're going to add this to this fermenter. Now, you could cool this first. But, I'm not going to. I'm just going to stick this out in the fridge and let the fridge cool it down. pitching yeast on this just at the moment. But I'll get a quick gravity sample. So as I said, we've got 12 grams of hops in the whirlpool there. Now I'm not going to add anything 
else in here at the moment. Um, I'm going to wait. I'll wait till day four. Uh, and so what I'm going to do, I will do. Um, probably, probably got about um, 30 grams of Amarillo on day four. Uh, then about day seven, I'll drop in. Yeah, about another 30 or 40 grams of mosaic uh, and leave that uh, till bottling or at least till cold crashing time. Uh, so they'll get up to about seven days of contact uh, and then we'll we'll pull out from there and see where we see where we go. But we'll, um, I think that'll be fine. So a bit of experiment, bit of, bit of experimenting. Not know for sure exactly where we're going to finish out at. So, okay. Now this fella's sitting. It's sitting on 10:58 there at the moment. It's a little bit warm. Um, so it's probably more realistically probably around somewhere around 10:62 uh, by the time it actually cools down. But um, we'll let that go. So, for the sake of not dragging this video any longer than we need to, uh, I'm going to wrap that up. Um, I'll say thank you to uh, Matthew Wersak, cheers mate, for the uh, beer. Uh, he supplied me with um, a bit of a range of black hops lately. This is a bit of fun, not a bad drop. I'm sadly pretty um, reasonably impressed with that. Uh, the Black Hops beers are all been pretty good. They're knocking out some good brews. So, so to, to this fella, I will pitch the one, the full pack of USA Five on. Um, now I'm not going to rehydrate it. Just for this, I'm just going to sprinkle. Um, actually, no. Given given this has got to cool down, I will rehydrate that USA Five for this second half of the batch. Um, so I'm going to take these out now, I'll put these out in the garage, they're not going in the fridge at the moment because the fridge has still got um, the Pacific Ale clone which is finishing off, it will be bottled in a couple of days, so I'll need that fridge for cold crashing, but it's, it's sitting on uh, mid to high teens out in the garage at the moment and will and we'll for the next little week at least, so they'll sit out there. So I'll pitch this use later on uh, once it's cooled down and when I get a final number I'll be able to put that so I'll stick that down in the comments below. Um, I'll, I'll put a full breakdown of the two brews in the, in the, in the comments as well um, so you can go through and have a look at it um, put the final gravities. Uh, so as I said, this fill is going to get dry hopped on day 4 with number 20 grams of summit. This one's going to get dry hop day four, 30 grams of Amarillo, and then a couple of days after that with um, 40 grams of Mosaic. Uh, and bottle these up, and then we'll come back. So about um, you know, five or six weeks from now, we'll be looking at doing some tasting on these two and see how they go. So that's me for the day. So as always, if you've got any questions, stick them down the bottom. If you haven't subscribed to Little John's yet, Hit the button down there in the corner, in the bell, subscribe away. Uh, come along, join us. We play around with beer, we do this sort of thing, we play around, we do different things with the standard beer uh, and try to make them better or different or, you know, try to work towards something that people want to try, you know, beers are not to try and recreate. So that's me, little John for the day. So until I see you again, we're talking beer, we're drinking beer or we're brewing beer, good brewing.